Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take a look at the lens maker's equation for a thick lens. And for reference, we put down the lens, lens maker's equation for a thin lens. 1 over the focal length is equal to the index of refraction of the lens material, minus 1. And of course, we use a 1 here because we're assuming that the lens is in air, that the outside medium is air with an index of refraction equal to 1 times 1 over the radius of the front surface of the lens minus 1 over the radius of the second surface of the lens. Now for reference here, I've drawn a lens and notice that if the front end of the lens or the front side of the lens bulges towards the left, we call that a positive radius. And if the, the surface of the lens bulges away from the left side, then we call it a negative radius. D is the thickness of the lens, but if we assume it to be a thin lens, D goes to zero, so we don't have an additional term inside the brackets. We'll work out an example of what the focal length would be like for a thin lens with these parameters. Here we have the equation for the lens maker's equation for the thick lens. Now notice everything is the same except this additional term. The fact that the rays travel through the lens we have to account for that and so therefore the focal length will be somewhat affected and so these are the parameters we have to use to find that effective focal length of a thick lens. Now let's see what that is like when we plug in the numbers. With the thin lens we get 1 over f is equal to 1.5 minus 1. Notice we use index of refraction 1.5 for the lens because it's made out of glass material times 1 over R1 would be a positive 10 centimeters minus 1 over R2 would be a negative 10 centimeters because it bulges away from the left. So that's minus 10 right here. And with a calculator, let's see what that's equal to. Well, we can probably simplify a little bit more. 1 over F is equal to 0 0.5 times 0 0.1 minus negative times a negative is positive, plus 0 0.1, which would be 0 0.2 times 0 0.5, which is 0 0.1, which means that if we take the inverse of that, we have f equals to 10 centimeters. I guess no calculator necessary for that one. Now let's do the same, but now we have this additional term in there, so that means that the focal length over the effective focal length of a thick lens will be a little bit different than it is for a thin lens. So we have 1 over f equals, same parameters, 1.5 minus 1 times 1 over 10 minus 1 over a minus 10. Then we have plus 1.5 minus 0 0.5 times the distance of 1 centimeter, that's the thickness of the thick lens, divided by 1.5, again that's the index of refraction of the lens material, times 10 for the front side, that's the radius of the front side, times a minus 10, the radius of the back side. So make sure you do indeed plug in the correct signs for R1 and R2. This negative here will cause this to be a negative in the end. So we have 1 over f is equal to 0 0.5 times 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1, and this negative will make that a negative, and let's plug in the numbers. So we get 0.5 divided by, that's 150. So divided by 150, hmm, that would be minus 0 0.00333, so forth. All right, so basically a little bit more than three one thousandths. Now we plug that in there, so we make that a negative, plus uh, 0.2 multiply times 0.5, and then take the inverse of that, and we get f is equal to 10.17 centimeters. So you can see it's not a big difference, but nevertheless it's not insignificant. So if you're dealing with thick lenses and you want to find the focal length, you do indeed want to use the thick lens, lens maker's equation rather than the thin lens lens maker's equation. You can use this as a quick reference realizing you should get a number quite close to this one right here, but to get the exact value, you better use that equation. And that's how it's done.